Matthew Dalitz from the Science of Psychotherapy, and here's a quick snippet from our podcast. This is me talking with Richard Hill about the rider and the elephant. You've come up with a, a, a metaphor which I found terribly useful about the rider and the elephant. Tell us about that. Well, yeah, well, this is a great example of, of the folly of, uh, of, of the, the, the modern man. And the rider and the elephant, uh, there's a few. Uh, uh, we, were, we were talking about this before. I know we're, it's sort of like the tip of the iceberg and the iceberg mm. uh, below. Mm. But the rider and the elephant's nice because it's kind of got movement, which humans have. And our conscious mind is like the rider. And he's riding the elephant of our implicit world. And there's all kinds of stuff going on uh, in the implicit world and the rider thinks that it can tap it here and tap there and do a diggly bong there and the elephant will do whatever it wants and right. for a certain amount of the time the elephant does do what you want but if that elephant wants to go over there <laughs> you can whip it and whap it and whop it as much as you like and that elephant's going yeah yeah uh, and the elephant occurs, wants to bolt <laughs> if that, absolutely yeah but this is as much uh, in relation to things of of responses to trauma and insecure attachment mm. as it is to just simple uh, general uh, bodily functions like hunger. Uh, there's about an hour and a half process that goes on and about 20 or 30 different neurochemical and biological and genetic things that go on before it eventually rises up into enough relevance and uh, we call emotional importance but enough relevance to pop into the head and what's fascinating is that it pops into the head in a very simplistic form. I'm hungry, which is just enough information to get the brain to direct the body to move towards food. I mean, we don't know whether it's for three milligrams of B6 and a teaspoon of folate. And a, we don't know any of that detail. Mm. So evolutionarily, we've actually... Uh, come to a state where consciousness only needs to be aware of enough it, enough information to move it towards creating change. Mm. So mm. we get depressed, we get anxious, we get panicky, we get sad, we fall in love. Uh, and that's what we can say. But now as we're doing more and more research, we're finding that the, the complexity of, of activity that's going on in the body that generates these very simple ideas hmm. means that maybe the ideas are not where we need to do the work. The idea is just a stimulus, the, the, the light that shines us on where we can go exploring. Well, if you want to know more about the science of psychotherapy, come across to our website, thescienceofpsychotherapy.com, and our podcast of the same name, and learn more about the science of you.